Hey, Psst. over here. Yeah, me. The skeleton is speaking. Oh, you thought skeletons can speak? Well, I've got news for you, buddy. It's my soul talking, so listen hard. As you can see, I've been dead for a while. Luckily, I've got to keep my bones. Uh, the other guys were eaten alive or burned to hell by unholy creatures. They left me here to guide everyone through who comes along. So here it comes. There is a real exit somewhere. You have to find a cogwheel, <coughs> you know, take it and stick it, stick it up uh, your... Ah, Jesus, I'm sick of it all. Alright, alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is no real exit. Frankly, they don't give a fuck. Gonna kill you anyway. And you know, through all these years, I realized it's not that bad. You actually get to lay around, talk to rats, eat rats, play with your bones. You've got all the time in the world, or wherever we are. After all, you get to be a part of it, you know, this institute anyway you gotta leave now cause I hear the next guy coming
Ha ha ha, very funny motherfucker, but I'm not laughing. Who's responsible for this crap anyway, huh? You know how this feels to be hit by a rock every fucking day, each time over and over on the head, huh? You stupid son of a bitch. Fuck you, fuck you all maggots. I'm gonna rip your heart and shit into your neck until you're bleeding.
this is the sort of sadism. As long as you use it, you will gain nearly unlimited health and power. And that means you live longer, we live stronger.
there is no entry yet. Catch me a rat and bring a flower for my friend here. Then we will let you in. Not enough experience to visit an expert patient. Actually, life doesn't make any sense, does it? I mean, you can make up your mind. Catch me a rat and bring a flower for my friend here, then we will let you in. You know, this is a full-time job without any breaks, so we are hungry like someone who works on a full-time job without any breaks.
Thank you very much, victim. We welcome you to the Statistic Village. Help me? I want to open this chest. I already bought this dynamite, but I don't have anything to fire it. Please, help us. This Christmas tree is possessed by a 100 year old ghost and all the time he sings and sings. But there's only one way to get the ghost into hell. Put on this Christmas clothes and jump into the shelter through the chimney. Hurry, before we all get crazy. Yeah. Oh, my son. You are the new victim, aren't you? <laughs> I want you to solve my problem, you know? Some years ago, my son and his wife lived in this house. One day, they quarreled, and my son left his crying wife. She took on her possessions, locked the house, and flew out of the village. Then, my son came back and screamed and said, Ben, where's my kid? So he decided to follow his wife, found her near the village, and knocked her down with his expensive bike. What the hell are you doing in the toilet, <laughs> huh? Voice well, said, now you, you have to repeat, repeat the track. In see you. YouTube, as you can see. But that's not my problem. The door is locked, and I'm afraid to get outside the village to get the key. And I need to get in, because of the painting. I'm a dragon. So I want you ah, to bring the key. I'm a dragon. 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 Well done, victim. You may go.
Not enough experience to visit an expert station. Well done, Mr. Victim. I will see you in hell. Not enough experience to visit an expectation.
is currently um, dead. Please try again in a few minutes. This is the all-new way to travel. Its sadistic design has won all sadistic awards of this planet, or wherever we are. Lots of spikes, threads from a tank, and of course two doors, which are too small, make this an experience you will never forget. This is the Sadism Express. Summarized, you can say it is uncomfortable, unsafe, and black Take and white. Care on number so, what are you waiting for? Train Death? passes. <laughs>
Don't you think that you're wasting time? Wouldn't it be better to leave this life? Well, I see. You are one of those tough guys, aren't you? So now, take a minute and think about it. Why the hell should we have a train system, hmm? Well, of course, because we want to torture you, but we don't need any transport system. We are everywhere anyway. So, this was an example how life really is. Sadistic and absolutely senseless.